The School for Heiresses series is about a woman who was an heiress, made a big mistake, ran off with the wrong guy, um, who wanted her for her money. She was too young and naive to know better. He went through all her money and then conveniently died. Now she is having to suffer as a result financially. And so she begins a school. She is determined that she, she's going to make a living at teaching uh, young girls, but the main thing she's going to focus on is, you know, do not make these kinds of stupid mistakes. And what happens is it starts, it starts out, it's called the School for Young Ladies, but Mrs. Harris's School for Young Ladies. But because uh, she's quite popular, because of her cautionary lessons, more and more people start sending their heiresses there, and society dubs it the School for Heiresses because so many heiresses are attending, and she has special teas for heiresses and um, that sort of thing. Now, the, the thing that's a little different about it, I think, is that in every book, uh, every chapter opens with a letter from her to an anonymous benefactor. Uh, and his name is Michael, Cousin Michael. She thinks it's a cousin of her husband's. And he uh, gives money to the school and helps her start the school. And they have these series of letters. And the last book is their book um, where they finally meet and um, have their romance. So that's the School for Heiresses series. By the end of the fifth book, which is the next to last book of the series, uh, there will, I hope, be enough clues and hints that everybody will be able to ask who is Cousin Michael and give a theory and convince me of who they think it is. And um, I hope they'll all be surprised when the last book comes out uh, to find out who it is.